Hey folks, today I'm gonna to give you some concrete steps on not how to find happiness, but actually create it. I wanna to talk to you about this today because there's a lot of people, myself included, in certain times and certain stress, we just don't seem to feel very happy about certain things in our lives. So why is it so difficult to find happiness? And happiness is key to building a great business, to taking massive action, because let's face it, when we're cranky, when we've had a bad day, when things aren't going our way, we don't feel like doing anything. So I wanna to talk to you more about how the brain is hardwired for negative situations and why it's so difficult to create happiness, but it's very doable. So the challenge is this, through our evolutionary process, we've been designed to be hardwired. Hardwired means we don't even have to think about it. We're hardwired for safety, which means we're always watching out for the negative things because back in our nomadic days, we had to be on alert all the time in case there was a saber-toothed tiger or a predator just lurking over our shoulders. So understand this, the brain is hardwired for survival and it's certainly not hardwired for any type of happiness whatsoever. So happiness is a learned skill. And so many people think that they need to find their happiness. What you need to do is create happiness and I'm gonna give you a couple of key steps to doing that. So. Positive thinking is one, but positive thinking doesn't go as far as doing positive thinkings with positive actions. So here's some concrete things that you can do to create happiness for yourself and spread that happiness around the closest people into your life. So gratefulness creates happiness. So I always start every single day, even if it's a bad day, if a hacker got into one of our servers or things aren't just going our way, I sit there for just a moment and keyword is I've changed things from I have to to I get to. So the first thing that I get to do in opening my eyes every morning is be very grateful that I have three healthy kids, that I have a surviving business, even though the business has a lot of challenges all the time. And I'm very grateful for the friendships in my life, the people in my life, the amazing staff with the, that we have, and that starts my day. So number one, start your day with the things that you get to do rather than the things you have to do. So starting with gratefulness, starting with concentrating on the things that you do have, rather than focusing on the things that you want to get or may not have, is a great way to start your day. As an example, I say to myself, you know what, I woke up today and I was able to see everything. Imagine if I woke up blind. I would give everything I had to absolutely get my sight back. And that's very typical. We take for granted the things that could or should make us happy because happiness is a skill and negativity and worry is hardwired into our brains from millions and millions of years of evolution. So once you start your positive thoughts in the day and your gratefulness, the second action that I try to do very often is I will send a message, a text message, uh, or a positive message to a friend or a colleague or a coworker, and just letting them know how much I appreciate them. When's the last time you got a random text from a friend or a colleague or a mother or a father who just said, I really appreciate everything you're doing for me and I love you and thank you for being a part of my life. And what does that do? Well, that creates gratefulness in the person that you sent the text to, and that's how you spread a lot of happiness. And happiness is, like I've said a couple of times now, is generally and very much so a skill. You need to work on it, you need to practice it. And how often do we wake up every day going, wow, what a beautiful life do I have? I've got a home, I've got three healthy kids, I've got a car, I've got a business. And even if you don't have all of those things, understand that there are people in this world that are way worse than you are. There are people who are wondering where they're even gonna find their first meal in the day. So gratefulness creates happiness. And then when you take grateful actions towards other people, well, that helps them create gratefulness in their lives, and that's how you literally create happiness in your community, happiness with your colleagues, in your business, in your family, in your home, is by showing your gratefulness every single day. And it's work, it takes work, 
but it's well worth it because when you start off happy, then you're gonna be more apt to getting things done that you know that you need to do. And here's the other thing too that's very important. A study has shown that most of the anxiety in our lives, most of the depression in our lives, most of the things that make us feel down is centered around one thing. And think about it for a second. That one thing is a lot of our anxiety and depression comes from knowing there's things that need to get done, but they're not being done. Think about it. How many things that you've put off again and again and again, and when you keep putting them off, the anxiety rises more and more and more. Think about your college days or your high school days where you had a paper that was due on Friday, and Monday you knew you, could, you, started, you needed to work on it, and then Tuesday comes and you still haven't worked on it, and the anxiety builds any more. Then Wednesday comes, you still, the anxiety builds even more, and then Thursday you're like, oh, damn it. I got to get this done by tomorrow. So now your anxiety, your depression, your mood is at an all-time elevated high of negativity. And guess what? Once you take care of what you knew you need to take care of, you feel a lot better. So that creates a real hamster wheel. When you start with positive energy in the morning and you send a couple of grateful messages to people, that gets you moving in the right direction to taking care of the things that you know you need to take care of and that creates even more elation and more happiness. So listen folks, if you love these videos, click the like button, click the bell notification button, please leave me a comment because it does a lot of amazing things for the algorithm. And I'd like to know what is the key thing, leave me a comment below, what is, what is one of the key things that you plan on starting to do to increase the happiness in your life and increase the well-being and happiness of the people around you. Have an awesome day.